also has um, a motion, motion sensored shower so that they can wave their trunks to turn it on so they can have a shower whenever they want. I think they have something like that at the Denver Zoo now, too. Tell them about the tree. Yeah, they, do, they have some cool stuff in there. Yeah. Um, this tree serves a couple of purposes. It's a great scratching post, um, but it also is a way for us to deliver enrichment. So you can open this up, um, drop down like an apple or a bagel or something. It'll ro oh. roll down into one of four chambers inside the trunk. And then the elephants will have to stick their trunks in and forage around for it like they would in the wild, be able to try to find it without using their eyes, mm. which is really just, you know, trying to replicate those things that they would have to do in the wild. Mm -hmm. huh. uh, a nice thing is that those big garage doors are all wide open, mm -hmm. so they get a lot of nice. And then they have, they have an elephant walk where they go out and they walk all around like that. Mm -hmm. Then over on that side, they have like two acres where they can go on vacation, where people can't see them. They get, it's all fenced in. Oh. And they have this big play yard. It's pretty cool. If you can hear what Dale's saying. But Lucky has that log, and Jumbo came over from the other side and tried to steal it from her, and displaced her, moved Lucky out of the way so that she could take it. Um, Jumbo is the dominant female of our herd, so she will often take food, displace others, um, but it's just so interesting. I remember when you came here, Kimba's ears roll one way and Lucky's roll the other way, yeah. and I can never remember which was which. <laughs> oh, they're so awesome. You know, it took me a long time to be able to sell them fur. It was easier when Kim had real long tusks. And do you file them down so they don't mess with things? What did you say? Do, they, do you guys file the tusks down? Not unless we need to for some reason. Mm -hmm. um, in general, no. Kim, as her prior owner, did use to um, file down her tusks and make them blunt. Just you know, our wheelhouse, we're good at it. We do, we have excellent luck with um, non-reproductive females. They seem to thrive here. We don't have the unlimited space that we would really need if we wanted to breed. I mean, if you're breeding elephants, theoretically, uh, you could have a bull and any number of calves at one time with more than one female. Um, we're, our facility is equipped to hold a bull. We have enough space uh, that we can hold one. Our building is strong enough that we could hold a bull, but that is not our intent. Um, so all of our girls are in their late 20s, early 30s, which is sort of just past breeding age. They'll live a number of years, um, and we don't really foresee any time when we think we're gonna change our strategy. Also, you know, interestingly, uh, all of the, I think all, all, at least the vast majority, if not all, of the successful births of Yep. Yep, exactly. <laughs> oh, the keeper just walked by. Who was? That was oh, yeah. yeah. the woods. Oh. Well, remember when they were going to get rid of all of them? Oh, yeah. Oh, they were going to get rid of all of them, and everyone just went. Yeah. Um, so are you guys going to hang around at the zoo for a while? Or yeah. Out? No, we're not. I heard Jackie. Oh, 